What is going on collectors of YouTube? I am back with another review video and as you can see I am reviewing the Old Man Logan and yes I do have uh, the comic Wolverine Old Man Logan and it's mainly just to, just to point out that I mean that was the whole reason that I got this figure in the first place because when I read this this comic I mean it was just completely awesome and don't get me wrong the the Logan movie it was great in its own right I mean heck I mean I would even put it as a movie of the year but this story of Old Man Logan the comic I mean it it was just it was it was really um it was really gripping. I mean, if you haven't read the story, then do yourself a favor and go go on Amazon and buy it. I mean, it has the whole collection in one package. Uh, I believe it's like for 20 bucks. And you can't go wrong because, I mean, comics by themselves, if you buy the basically the single issue, you know, they're like, what, three bucks uh, a piece. So the fact that I got the entire story for 20 bucks, I mean... It's just, it's really great. I mean, um, it, it, it's something that if you're a Wolverine fan, then you owe it to yourself to to pick this novel up and, you know, just read it. Um, it, it it's one of those stories that I, I could go back and read multiple times. It's just, it's great. And I wish that they would make, you know, a movie based on this story, um, even if it's a, you know, an animated cartoon. Just so that we could get the full experience of Old Man Logan, because this story was great. And I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything. Um, you see the front cover. You know, you have Old Man Logan, the Hulk gang. Um, that That's basically what they're calling them. Again, I'm not going to give out any spoilers. Uh, just do yourself a favor and pick this novel up. It's great. But <laughs> I digress. Uh, this isn't about the novel. Uh, this is about the figure, so let me get this out of the way, and yeah, I mean, Mezco, typical box, um, you have the character themed box, it's, uh, it's awesome, it's great, just like how Mezco does it, Mezco loves their character themed boxes, and you know, as far as the fans go, I'm sure we do too, but as you can see, basically, it's the X-Men label, uh, and it's all dirty and everything, as it should be. Um, oh, and, and again, if you haven't read, uh, the Old Man Logan story, then you kind of won't really get, like, this reference. So, again, go back and buy that novel and read it. Turn it to the side, pretty much, same logo, and then turn it to the back, and then we get, basically the back <laughs> we get the back oh god I keep repeating myself we get the back and we get a bunch of uh, character stills and we get all the accessories uh, that comes inside of the box and of course we get the the leather trench coat that logan is wearing so again uh really cool uh mezco artwork so let's get this back to the front and let's crack this bad boy open and let's get it reviewed because it is awesome <laughs> so cracked open and out of the packaging i wanted to show off what logan looks like pretty much in his full attire and his trench coat and his cowboy hat and his backpack carrying uh, baby hulk uh, i just wanted to put him on this turnstile and just have him turning so you you all can get a good display of just what he looks like uh as he should be looking in his full attire and I gotta say that, you know, Mezco, the, I mean, you can never go wrong with Mezco. I mean, that's what, that's, that's what the whole, um, expensive price tag warrants, you know, just awesome, great quality. Uh, you can never go wrong with Mezco. I mean, even the claws, I mean, <laughs> not to bring up names, Hasbro, but I mean, you know, when we're getting a, a Wolverine uh, figure out of their packaging, the claws are always jacked up, and they they just look like, uh, you know, they were twisted around together. But, I mean, right here we have the, the Mezco claws, and they look just, you know, perfect. Now, bear in mind, they are plastic, they are not metal, which... That, I mean, if I could give out a gripe, I guess that would be the only thing. You know, you're paying... 
well, in this case, $80 for this Logan figure. And the least thing they could have done is put like little metal pieces for the claws. That's probably the only gripe that I have. And again, you know, with these reviews, I try to keep it as honest as possible. Yeah, I mean, if a figure is completely awesome and worth buying, uh, of course, you know, pick them up. But that doesn't mean that I can't break it down and be like, oh, you know, they could have done this, 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 and this better. But anyways, I, <laughs> I digress. So anyways, uh, just with the, the trench coat and everything, I mean, it works for, for this Logan. Yes, the trench coat is a little bit baggy on him. But you got to remember, I mean, in the comic world, Wolverine is a small dude. I mean, he's, what, like 5'5", five, five, I think, 5'4"? Five, so, I mean, just the fact that this trench coat is big on him, I, th I believe, and I might be completely mistaken, but I think this is the same trench coat that we got with the Punisher, just brown. And again, I mean, it works because, again, Logan's a small guy, so of course... <laughs> He had to get the trench coat that he, you know, that he could find, and it was too big for him. And then, of course, uh, we have uh, this backpack, which detailed, really awesome. Uh, I'm glad that Mezco did that, especially to put Baby Hulk in. And again, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to go into that comic. I might, may, you know, maybe I might review it later on. But as of right now, I'm not going to spoil anything. So. If you don't know the this Baby Hulk reference, or you're you know you're new to the channel, or just you know kind of new to Marvel in general, you know you're just you've just seen uh, the Avengers and all that, and uh, the movie Logan, so you probably won't even know who the heck Baby Hulk is. I mean, but again, go back, read that Old Man Logan story, and then you'll see who Baby Hulk is, and it's really. Um, it's really gripping how, how it all came about, but Baby Hulk is uh, stylized uh, and detailed really awesome. The backpack is detailed really awesome. Just this whole figure. I mean, it, it's a Mezco figure. So I'm going to take go ahead and uh, take Logan off of this turnstile, and we'll get a more in-depth of the details and the articulation. But again, um, I just wanted to... Put him on this turnstile so y'all can get just get a good feel of him just rotating. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get him off this turnstile and get more in depth with him. So all the way down to his vanilla pose, pretty much as you get him right out of the box, he's got his standard white shirt, his brown pants, and he's got his uh, his belt, and then of course his uh, closed fist, and then of course no hat, but pretty much getting him out of the packaging. Um, he's, I mean, again, this figure is just great with whatever pose you want to get him in. And I really, I just, I, I really dig how, how detailed uh, Mezco did this Logan figure. And this face is just uh, perfect just for the character. Um, you know, you, you can see in his face that he's just, he's had a hard life, which Logan has. And <laughs> again, if you want to compare him to the, the old man Logan that we got with the, um, the warlock wave, I mean, yeah, he looks like an old man, but just that face, I, I just the face, you know, they, they didn't really, they didn't really nail it. Um, I, with this face, it just, it, it tells a story of, just everything that that Logan has been through, you know, to to lead him up to this point, pretty much. With that other figure, it's more of just again. I mean, like it just it just looks like uh just well like a, like a toy, pretty much. Um, there's no story behind it. There's nothing. But again, with this face, the as detailed as as Mezco did it, there's a story behind it, and you can tell getting a little bit closer um just the the details and everything you know you you can tell that again logan has been through a lot of stuff and i just i i, I just i love the detail uh you have his eyes <laughs> pretty much his little bitty eyes uh that are detailed everything uh there's not really any any paint flaws that i can see with him 
you know, turning it to the side, we have, of course, um, the Wolverine sideburns, and then he pretty much just grew out his beard to have it all connected. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I'm digging this, this gray look that they applied to it. And then, of course, uh, his, uh, his brown uh, cowboy jeans and this belt buckle, I mean... Again, detailed to a T. I'm just really digging it. Yeah, we got the just the black wash covering uh, the brown belt. And then looking at his boots, even, you know, his boots are even well detailed. Lifting up it, I... If you can, I mean lift his uh, pants up as far as they can go. It's got that that cowboy boot, you know, look as it should. And that's that's one thing about Mezco. There's all these little hidden little features like you would never think to really pull up his pants to to expose that. Um, you know, you just you have the cowboy boot right here and that's it. But again, you know, you pull up his pants, his pant, his cuff as far as you can go and then you have that cowboy boot that pretty much uh, I'm sure it goes to like right here again I'm not gonna take Logan's clothes off or anything I'm sure other customizers will to put other clothes on him but um, <laughs> as far as I as far as this goes um, you know I'm just gonna lift up the the cuff as far as I can and you know you, as you saw uh, his cowboy boot it feels like it, it goes to like right here so I'm sure there's probably a little bit more detail, but again, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna take Logan's clothes off. And of course, his arm. We get the the hairy Wolverine arm. Little focus. Come on. There we go. So we get the the hairy Wolverine arm, and it is it actually is textured. It's it's not just. I mean, it is painted on, but they also threw in uh, just a bunch of uh, like little bumps on here to make it look like an actual hairy arm, as it should. Not just uh, throw some, you know, some black stripes and call it, you know, hair. So yeah, just detailed all the way to a T. And I can't be more impressed. I wanted to go ahead and show off uh, the Baby Hulk more in detail because it, it is. It's really uh, detailed. And, of course, uh, his hat and then also the two extra hands that we got with him. So, as you saw, I showed him off with the claw hands and then his vanilla closed-fisted hands. And then here's the other two hands. So, we have this kind of half-open hand. And I... Maybe I could be wrong. I mean, it could. I mean, you could use this, the hand for anything. <laughs> but um, and then we also have this uh, this holding hand. But again, the, this this hand. I I think it might be maybe a hat hand. Um, if you know, in case you wanted to get Logan sleeping or something, you could have him put put that hand to where he's just you know, kind of um. Put it, putting his hat down or something. I, yeah, I mean, it seems like the the shape of the hand. It's kind of uh, putting that, you know, just putting uh, his hat over his face. So I mean, it, it could be that for that reason. But again, I mean, you could use the hand for holding Baby Hulk or something like this. <laughs> but uh, anyways, you get the point. So we get this, like I said, we get this um, half closed, half open hand. And then we have this holding hand, which is almost closed. And as you saw, you, you could get it for him holding his hat, which, you know, it's real easy. Just put it from the bottom and up. And there you go. So, I mean, it could be that or... 
going to have it holding his his hat close to him or something. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, you could do that. So, getting Logan out of the frame, let's kind of look at uh, the other accessory, Baby Hulk. So, I'm really impressed the way Mezco detailed this little this little guy. Get some more light on him. So all the way down to just his focus. Just all the way down to his eyes. I mean, and again, no no paint mess up or anything. It's pretty much perfect. And then uh, his face is uh, <laughs> kind of dirty, which again you got to read. You got to read the the story to kind of understand. And of course, he's in his little his little uh, carriage thing, which Logan puts him in the back of his backpack, as you saw. And yeah, just even as this little like harness pack is detailed. You know, Mezco could have just went lazy and just gave us just a just an all black back and that that you know just left it at that. But no, I mean, and then the <laughs> of course the pacifier is purple, which I mean the color scheme of Hulk makes sense, purple and green. But yeah, I mean, this baby Hulk, uh, I'm really digging it. Oops. <laughs> But yeah, that, I mean that, that's pretty much it for for Baby Hulk. Um, of course, you know he's just basically just one solid piece. And then the hat, I mean, real detailed. We have the stitching on top. Then we have this detailed strap with the looks like this. I'm pretty sure it would be like gold lace or something. And then the hat, of course, looks weathered as it should. And it, it really, it fits Logan's head. Even getting him in whatever pose. You know, it's not, it's not a hat that just falls right off his head. It, it fits, it fits his head well. And it looks good. Yeah, focus. As far as articulation goes, uh, he has the double jointed elbows and knees. Um, I, he, I think he does have the, the butterfly joints, but Mezco figures aren't really known to have crazy articulation, and it's mainly because of, of the cloth that they're using to put over their figures. You know, you, you, you don't want to wear it down to where it rips, so, you know, they're, they're pretty much, the Mezco figures are used to, you know, put them in a pose, do what you need to do, and then that's it. You know, you're not going to get him into some crazy Yamaguchi pose, and then it rips all, all the material and everything. Oh, and then another thing I kind of wanted to point out, I just, I actually just noticed it. If you can get the right lighting on him, I don't know if you can see it, but they even made his shirt kind of like, they put, they threw some brown in to make it look kind of dirty. I don't think my camera's picking it up, but... When you get it in hand, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, um, again, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it's on a like a ball joint right here, because obviously he's moving to the side. So it looks like it's two pieces. You can move him right here, and then at his waist, move him right there. So, so real quick, I wanted to do some size comparisons. Um, as you can see, I have Deadpool and Cable here, and of course, Deadpool is—you <laughs> got you always. Whenever you're having these type of size comparisons, you always have to throw in Deadpool because I mean, Deadpool and Wolverine. I mean, <laughs> it's an awesome and funny combination. But you have Deadpool here, which is of course taller than Wolverine, and like I said, as it should be because. 
if you've read any of the comics, Deadpool is always making the short references to Wolverine. And so, yeah, and Deadpool, I, I mean, I might be wrong, but I believe Deadpool is probably close to six foot, if not over six foot. So, of course, those short jokes will always play into Deadpool's, <laughs> his uh, vocabulary. And then, of course, we have Cable, which is taller than both of them, and like it should be. Because, like I said at the beginning, Wolverine is, he's probably like 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, five, so, of course, uh, we have to have Deadpool and Cable taller than Logan. So, if you're going to do um, any type of fig photography, just know that, yes, uh, he does... He does compare well to the Marvel Legends, and as you can see, Deadpool is taller than Wolverine. So shoulder to shoulder with his, you know, his younger counterpart, um, I this is actually the first time that I've put them side by side, and obviously the Marvel Legends version is a, you know. It looks like a lot shorter <laughs> than the old man Logan. And, I mean, with good reason. I mean, well, like I said, Wolverine is a small guy. But in this case, uh, this Wolverine is shorter than his older self. But, again, this is a Mezco figure. So, again, like you saw, he does, you know, scale well. If you want to put him with Deadpool or Cable, that he does scale well. Uh... But, you know, to them, he probably would be around, I don't know, like maybe five, look like, you know, like five, eight or something. Um, but this, this Wolverine, uh, his younger self is pretty much the, you know, true to accurate um, scale of, of how tall he really is. Which, I mean, it, you know, it, it's not really a big deal, but at the same time... Um, Eh, I don't know, maybe they could have made this Logan a little bit shorter, but at the same time, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But I just wanted to just kind of show off just uh, how, just a size comparison to his uh, younger self. And, you know, give you guys a good feel. <laughs> I mean, you can get him into those type of poses. And... I could go on and on and on about this figure because it, it, it's awesome, and I, I mean, I, I, I believe he will be in my my top ten. I mean, no no doubt about it. When I first saw this figure last year, I mean, I, I was excited for him because right after I read that that novel of Old Man Logan, I was waiting for them to make an Old Man Logan, and then they they finally announced it, or I mean, Mezco finally announced it. But we pretty much had to wait a whole year to get him. And when I finally got my hands on him, I mean, I was just, I was stoked. And just the amount of detail that that's in him, it, it's great. So you, you owe it to yourself to pick this figure up. And I would, I would try to jump on it as soon as you can. Because this figure, I believe, is going to sell out pretty fast. So I will, I will end my review here, as I always do. Uh, collect what you love. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, baby, that's how you know.